I never thought in a million years I'll be back in the house as a fighter, trying to win this thing again, you know, being the first two-time tough champ. I thought I had a possibility of maybe getting on here as a coach or something like that, but uh, definitely not as a participant. But I guess that's the beauty of life. You just never know what you're going to get. So when you got the call to come on the show, were you apprehensive? Were you excited? When I first got the call, I'm not even going to lie to you, I was like, there's probably no shot, no chance in the world for two reasons. One, you know, I have a business that I'm running and, and that needs me there. Two, it was 170. So I haven't been 170 pounds since I was like in ninth grade of high school. So I thought the chances was like no way. And then I kind of sat back, had the discussion, you know, with my fiance, with my family. And I was like, you know what, man? I felt like I needed redemption because I set my goals, you know, way too low. I wanted to be in the UFC, have a UFC contract, and win the the, the first season I was on. And once I did that, I felt like a, like a source of accomplishment, which is probably the shortest and the worst thing I ever did to myself. Because, you know, I know I'm a champion. Like I train with, you know, not one but two champions, and I get guys that come into the gym all the time, and they're like, you know, top fighters in the world. And when I sat back and thought about it, I'm like, you know what? My redemption is a little bit different. Not only do I want to win this season, but I want to be in the top 10, the top five by the end of this year. And if I do that, I'll set myself up, you know, for a title run. So that's my goals. There are only two guys on the season that can be two times champions. You and Joe Stevenson. Did you know that going in that he was going to be on the, on the, on the, on the show? You know what? It's wild, man, because they did not. The UFC do a great job of keeping it uh, concealed. The, the contestants, like I had no clue Joe was on the show until we actually, you know, got here and uh, you know and got into the house. And Joe's the man. Like he's awesome. If you're not a Joe Daddy fan, like it's it's insane. Um, and I never knew the guy from a hole in the wall until this actual season. Uh, so you know, we both got a chance to do something special. So we're gonna have to see how this thing unfolds. So you win Tough 19, you had a, a good career in the UFC, then you stumbled, you had three losses in a row, and then you went out of the UFC. Yeah. Um, the show is redemption. Oh, uh, there's no doubt. You know, every redemption story starts somewhere. Uh, a lot of people ask me when I first got off, for, like even some of my coaches, like, what do you got to gain from this? Like, you already won the show. But it's like I said, it's not just about the show for me. I feel like, you know, mixed martial arts is, 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 a, is a long journey. And the destination, you know, you're going to have some different, some ups, some downs. It's life. Like, it's never just a steady climb. So the redemption for me starts on the show, and it's going to end with my career, you know, raising a UFC championship belt.